So I installed the battery switch in this uh, compartment here next to the seat. It's the multi-position off, one, two, all type switch. Uh, so normally you want to keep it in the off position anytime you're not using the boat. The bilge pump uh, is now wired directly to the battery. This boat never had a separate circuit for the bilge pump. Um, and I don't know if that's part of the reason why these batteries keep dying because you have a, a draw on several different circuits in the boat, uh, several different wires to the battery. Let me say it that way. So all that being said, I did install a second battery. I had a used battery here uh, and I was able to fit it right in between there in the front. Um, so now you do have two batteries in the boat hooked up, ready to go. So you don't have to fool around next year and try to add it again and do this all over. So, so anyway, so, so it's off. One is your main battery, which is the new battery that I put in earlier in the season. All is both batteries. And then two is the, the new secondary battery that's in the boat. Um, it load tests fine. It cranks the engine over fine. It's not a new battery, but it's, you know, in good shape. So what I would say is, again, anytime you're not using the boat, turn the switch off. If you're running the boat, um, it's generally best to put it on all. That way it charges up both batteries. Um, and if you get to where you're going for the day and you're going to sit, you know, hang out on the lake and have the radio on and stuff, I would switch it to battery two. So that way you can run that battery down, uh, you know, running lights, radios, whatever you got. And then when you, you know, we're done and you want to start the boat, you can try starting it on two. If it starts, that's fine. If it doesn't, go back to battery one, which is your new good battery. Um, and that will start the boat. So the only thing I will say on top of all that the auto bilge is wired to battery one um, which um, I guess I'm actually going to change to battery two so that that way uh, battery one is the best battery and all it does is the boat and again it's a good enough battery uh, either way so so that has its fuse in it right there I don't know if you can see it but that's the fuse holder for the auto bilge and then you do have three other fuse holders that were existing in the boat for other circuits in the boat um, so you should be in good shape everything is all set to go uh, like I said, I cranked the motor over on both batteries. Everything's fine. Um, and the auto bilge pump does work. I put water in the boat itself to test that because I can't even begin to see where the pump is. So uh, I turned the, you know, filled it with water. It pumped it out. Everything's fine. So should be in good shape. 